Now, your WLKY weather with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. Okay, impact weather will continue to be around the region tonight right through tomorrow. What I mean by that, keep those umbrellas handy because from time to time we'll be looking at some showers, perhaps even a few thunderstorms. Some of the rainfall could be locally heavy, just like it was earlier today in scattered spots around the viewing area, including the metro. We had upwards of one, even two inches of rain in a very short period of time. Uh, the good news, the, we're going to be drying out late tomorrow and tomorrow night. That will set the stage for some gorgeous weather as we push on into uh, Oaks as well as Derby. Got some wild colors going on behind us right now. 80 and 68 today's extremes. 1.1 inches of rain in the old bucket. Uh, 70 is the current temperature outdoors right now. We still have a little bit of light rain scattered around Jefferson County up through Clark County and the farther north you go as well. Nothing all that heavy at this time. As a matter of fact, as we kind of pull off towards the north northwest. There's some locally heavy rainfall there in southwestern Lawrence County in Indiana. We'll go south of the Ohio River, a couple of downpours in between Bardstown and Bloomfield on the Bluegrass Parkway and then down around Balltown to Loretto. Uh, right around Springfield and Willisburg, a couple of showers uh, that are uh, putting down some pretty decent tallies of rain. And finally, east of Columbia in Adair County, Another little heavier rain shower has developed. Everything tracking off to the east. We'll put everything in motion. You can see there's plenty more rain and moisture off to the west and southwest. Big blow up of severe storms in Texas tonight. We're not really expecting any severe weather going forward. Just occasional showers and a few rumbles of thunder. And again, with how much moisture is in the atmosphere, uh, some of the rain could be locally heavy. So here we go on the future cast for the rest of the overnight. It stays unsettled, occasional showers, a rumble of thunder or two. Same tomorrow from time to time, you'll need those umbrellas. That is until late in the day, right around dinner time or so. The front should move through. Most of the rain will then pivot off towards the southeast. We will start to dry out, and that will set the stage for some wonderful weather for Friday Oaks Day and Derby Day Saturday there, uh, as temperatures will be anywhere from 70 Friday afternoon and in the upper 70s come Saturday afternoon. Here's the forecast. Scattered showers, a little bit muggy out there overnight, 65 on the low. And again, tomorrow just staying unsettled, damp, with occasional showers, a few rumbles of thunder, ending and pushing south late in the day. And we dry it out, and it turns beautiful for Friday, for Saturday, even much of Sunday looking pretty good. If there's a rain chance Sunday, it's late day or Sunday night. And Rick, those rain chances will ramp up again. It turns unsettled for several days early next week. I will worry about that then, right? I mean, yeah. let's, let's get rid of the rain tonight and tomorrow and smooth sailing for Oaks and Derby. It, it poured at times early yeah, today. Roadways yeah. turned into rivers quickly, didn't they? They certainly did. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Jay. Mm -hmm.